Welcome to Dwight News All Day. Thank you for joining us. I am Deanne Drew. And I'm Blake Spahn, and this is what's in the news today. Dwight School and its global sister campuses have announced they will be introducing a new crest. With us, we have Dwight's communications director to tell us more about this exciting development. Hi, and thank you for having me this morning. It's with a lot of excitement that we're sharing this new crest, so let's jump right into it. The constellation of stars represents Dwight's students' infinite sparks of genius around the world. The lion, of course, is our school mascot. In heraldic tradition, it symbolizes courage and strength. And finally, as you can see here, the crest now features the date our school was founded. 1872. Very exciting news. Thank you for the update, Alison. We'll be sure to check back in with you if we have any more updates. In related news, Dwight is celebrating its 150th year anniversary. Having opened our doors in 1872, this is an incredible milestone for the entire Dwight family. We plan to celebrate at various events all year. Oh, oh, oh wait. Wait, this just in, we're getting some breaking news right now. Breaking news, everybody. When creaming the butter, make sure not to overwork it or it might separate. And it does have to be at room temperature. Now, additionally this year, to help identify COVID-19 cases and curb transmission within our community, we ask that all students, faculty and staff, regardless of vaccination status, conduct a self-administered rapid test on their first day back on campus, in the morning before arriving to school or boarding the bus. While we let it rest, we will grease a cookie sheet and preheat the oven to 350 degrees. This year, we will be using the honour system and there is no need for anyone to share or display a negative COVID test result with us. However, we must receive any positive result if you are using an at-home rapid test, a clear image of the positive test result must include individual's name, date and time the test was performed and be submitted to covidteam at dwight.edu. Now, after we've filled our pan, we will let that rest for at least 15 minutes. Ooh. And here it is smells divine. <laughs> Please make sure you are completing any required back to school necessities. Magnus health forms, vaccinations, etc. Check those emails. Make sure that any notices that we have been sending out and all the requirements are something that you're up to date with. Now, will you look at this perfect example of a Dwight sponge cake? Today, we welcome a very special guest. Miss Deanne Drew. Thank you for having me. I do appreciate it. Backstage, our producers were telling us that Dwight is accredited by a number of different bodies worldwide. Those keep the school on its toes. Is that true? It is so true, Blake. Your viewers would be interested to know that ratings are extremely important for the education sector and Dwight is readying itself for a 2023 visit by the Council of International Schools, Middle States Association wow. and, of course, the International Baccalaureate. Hmm. All of them have the highest standards and I have no doubt that Dwight will meet and exceed those standards. You don't say that. That is, that is really fascinating. In preparation, the Dwight community will launch a critical self-study period this academic year. But when thinking about this, what does it mean for the average viewer out there? Again, great question, Blake. It means that as Dwight community members, their voices, their opinions will be asked to really help us as a school meet those high standards. Well, I couldn't be more excited, but first, please, I want everyone in the audience to look under your seat. Yes, you all get a new car. And a Dwight hoodie. 
94th Street, Upper West Side, Manhattan, the newest location of Dwight School's early childhood division. Let's take a look inside, shall we? Oh my gosh, they are so close in readiness for the start of school. The painting's done, the floors are done, and the furniture's coming in. How exciting to see yet again another fantastic Dwight early childhood division being set up for a new school year. We can't wait for our littlest lions here on the Upper West Side to start in this amazing new space on 94th Street. Hanoi, Vietnam, population 20 million. Established in the year 1010. Hanoi is a hub for creativity and innovation in Southeast Asia. It will soon host the newest in the Dwight network of IB schools. We're told the campus will be situated in the Manor Central Park, an exciting new residential development and destination in central Hanoi. Students will find what Dwight calls their spark of genius. When the doors open in fall 2023, this is an intriguing concept, this spark of genius, and according to experts, the fast-moving trend in global education truly has Dwight at the forefront. We hope you had an amazing summer and that you've come back ready to really start an amazing 22-23 school year. Our teachers, our faculty, staff have all been preparing so hard and we are looking forward to seeing you on your first day back at school. I'll tell you, Deanne, I am most excited that we really have the 22-23 school year being one of as close to normalcy as we can and, you know, putting uh, COVID um, in the back seat as much as possible. So I uh, couldn't be more excited. We have a phenomenal new group of teachers coming in. Um, you can feel the palpable joy and enthusiasm and uh, yeah, incredibly excited for this year.